Hello everyone, TechnoSooth Greg Chamberlain here. We are on the software review series, and in this series I try my best to review fairly and honestly the software that uh, you guys work with pretty much every day. Uh, today I'm going to review McAfee Virus Scan Plus 2009. I know there's a 2010 out, but there's much more information on 2009, and most of you probably are currently using 2009. So that's why I decided to go with that one. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I went ahead and downloaded the trial version because I just didn't feel like purchasing a piece of software to uh, review it. And uh, when I download it, it downloads a small file called setup.exe, which is similar to the AVG one. And when you double click on it and you select run, first thing it does is notify me that the installer, which is supposed to download and automatically install the software, has a newer version. So I already have to update the installer. So I'll go ahead and use the new version. That'll pop up an Internet Explorer window and it'll make sure that you want to allow it for security purposes. Click of yes. Then you're going to download the new installer. Click run. Click run again. Of course, McAfee's not going to let me install their trial without registering to their website, which is already a setback in the installation process. So after 15 minutes of finally getting registered at McAfee's website, because, well, quite frankly, they don't make an easy way of registering right on their homepage, I finally have a username and password. So I will go ahead and log in and click next. It asks me what product I wanted to download, and I say next. And then it'll finally start downloading the software. After it's downloaded, it's going to automatically start the product installation, which the first thing it'll do is scan the PC for threats and will attempt to automatically remove any affections, much like AVG did. And are you kidding me? I guess I was wrong. It uh, actually scanned my PC for threats. The first thing it downloaded was a threat scanner. Now it's actually downloading the product for installation. Why you'd have a threat scanner that's 63 megabytes, I do not know. But now it's actually downloading the product for installation. And 45 minutes later, with cable internet, the software is finally installing. Now after it's installed the products, it's going to ask you if you want to send anonymous usage information to McAfee. Uh, sure. Click Next. Now it's going to optimize my protection and firewall settings, which I honestly don't know what that means. And when your installation is complete, it's going to notify you. It's going to put an icon in your bottom right hand corner to access your security center and then click Finish. So as far as installation and ease of installation goes, McAfee, you got it backwards. If you're listening or if you work for McAfee, you got to make this product as easy to get into our hands as possible because, quite frankly, we have to pay for your product. Not only do products like AVG, Avist, and Avira give us the product immediately without registration necessary, and their product's free to use, I shouldn't have to register with you until I decide I want to keep your product, in my opinion. So you get a 1 out of 5 for ease of installation. Okay, now you've installed McAfee, and you open it up. We have the McAfee Security Center. It does give you these little notifications if there's a security issue associated with your computer. Right now it's telling me my automatic updates are disabled, and I'm going to ignore that. And as far as ease of use goes with interface, McAfee Security Center does actually run really well. For example, if you want to update, all you need to do is click Update. If you want to scan your computer, you'll just click Scan. Scan will give you the options for a quick scan, a full scan, or let you choose which directories or files you want to scan individually. And down here, of course, they give you the option to do other things such as maintain your computer. Uh, now, of course, I wouldn't recommend using a utility such as an antivirus or a security center in order to do computer maintenance or anything like that. So, as far as the interface is concerned and ease of use of the interface, of course McAfee gets a 5 out of 5. I mean, that's pretty much what the McAfee and Symantec are known for, is they're very easy to use, they're very intuitive, and you're not going to run into a lot of headaches with actually uh, using the software itself. Of course, ease of installation and ease of use aren't everything. Uh, one of the most important things you can look at with an antivirus is actually its detection rates. Now, let's look at how McAfee compares with uh, most of the modern antiviruses that are out there. And this is a third-party antivirus comparison website. Let me go ahead and give credit to Gigafied. Gigafied is a YouTube tutorialist as well, and he does fantastic videos, so you might want to look him up. In one of his videos, he recommended av-comparatives.org for a good gauge, and I actually happen to agree with him on uh, antiviruses. Now let me go ahead and scroll over here and we'll see that McAfee falls actually in two out of three stars in its actual ratings for detection rates and false alarms. Now this would normally be completely okay with me if there weren't two other antiviruses, Avira and AVG, that are completely free that already fall into those categories. And not to mention Avast, which is free also, falls into a three out of three stars category. So basically it's like saying, yeah, sure, I'm going to pay for a piece of software that doesn't have as good of detection rates. The expectations from McAfee are much higher because it's a commercial product that we have to pay for in order to keep getting the updates that we need for our definitions. Because of that, McAfee on detection rates and false alarms actually gets a 2 out of 5. And finally, we come to performance, and performance is the ability for the antivirus to actually work well with your computer. In other words, 
It's not going to conflict with other hardware that's on your computer, and it's not going to cause any other types of issues. And this is also how much of a footprint it has. In other words, how many resources it uses while it scans or while it's running in your background doing real-time scanning. And as we'll see, as McAfee falls actually in the three out of three stars, which is good. So as far as commercial expectations are concerned, it definitely ranks up there as the top. And we're going to go ahead and give that a five out of five. Overall, we gave McAfee a 1 out of 5 on ease of installation, we gave it a 5 out of 5 on ease of use, and then we gave it a 2 out of 5 on actual detection rates, we gave it a 5 out of 5 on performance. That gives us a grand total of 3 out of 5 stars. And because I'm actually exceptionally rigid when it comes to software that I pay for, I'm going to drop it another half a point and give it a final score of 2.5 out of 5. Thank you all for stopping by, and uh, don't forget to check out my website at PCMichiana.com. As always, leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to continue to do reviews, and I hope you enjoy this video, and thanks again.